are you rolling your eyes? All I did was close my eyes. No, you didn't. I took a deep breath. Next, next. Uh, to say, well, I know what I said, but you refuse to think that I know what I said. what you said. You were in your brain. And I saw what you did. And I saw what you did. And I saw it in your brain. In your brain. Little mess up there is hard at work, painting. Cutting. Doing the the cutting, the cutting or whatever yeah. it's called. Bye. Don't buy me. Wait, what's food, buddy? I'm hungry. Hi, welcome to my channel. If you don't know who I am and it's your first time here, I mean, I guess welcome, like I just said. My name is Dinah on this channel. I do a lot of things geared to what's going on in my life and that predominantly entails things like making, entrepreneurship, and just adulting. And so I have an apartment and I have a room that I got to turn into my office space. We are doing a studio makeover. While I have y'all here, just a little mini plug. I entered a competition. These grand competitions are geared towards building my business, Tikol Couture, where I hand make crochet, clothing, and accessories. And so as a small business, it can be very hard, especially because I'm running things on my own. And so having a little moolah will definitely help. So your girl moved on, she's a semi-finalist, but I wanna be a finalist. And so where y'all come in and can help me out, is that there's a little competition happening before the big competition where we submit pitch videos. The business that is awarded most popular automatically moves off on to the finalists. And all y'all need to do is like the YouTube video that is gonna be linked in the description box below. Now the link goes live September 8th and closes September 22nd. Be helping me, the individual, so much. All you gotta do is like that YouTube video Yo, that's all you gotta do just give it a like okay so enough of that plug let's get on with what y'all came here for
Slimes, yeah, pop a bean, keep my system clean. Been drinking water, be like kerosene. Caught you busting a move. I'm just sauce, I can stoop. Love this hide on in Cupid. I'm with my dogs, yeah, we groove. And fall on the floor, that's a drug I'm abusing. You the grass is green, or whatever it is, your feet on music. Bumping out the speakers. I can't help but get this feeling. I can't help but get this feeling. I can't stop it. Get this feeling. just it for now. I can't tell if I'm feeling the way this room is looking right now. It's still missing a lot. Yeah, I'm just going to continue to play around with this area and I'll get back to y'all. Over one month later. Some progress has been made. So let me show y'all because I'm sorry, I've been a, doing a terrible job of, of updating y'all. There was a clothing rack here but I moved it out of the way and put this Ikea shelf. We are going to DIY this shelf. And then I oh, got this, this fake tree over here, moved this mirror here in this corner over here because I got a new uh, mirror for the bedroom. So this can actually be here now. But we have some really exciting packages. We have a rug that we got for this space. In here, I think are the prints that my sister made. So I'm really excited to open those up. And then uh, the doors for the Ikea shelf. So I'm thinking now is as good a time as any to do some unboxing. This ain't what it is then. I'm gonna get about to see. Oh, this came out gorgeous. Ooh, ooh. Just so y'all know, this one is actually replacing another version. It's the same one, but just a different color scheme, so it matches the orange now. Just so y'all know, I got all my prints off Vista print. Well, I printed them off Vista print. My sister made these. Ooh, brilliant. Oh my goodness, it feels so good to see these together in person. That's gonna look so good. Y'all, so I took a break to hang up the frames in the bedroom and um, let me show you what happened. So this one hung up nice, perfectly, hasn't fallen off yet, but the one on my side fell off the wall, knocked literally everything on the ground. Sorry, some of it was already there, but everything else, I put a lot of stuff on my desk, knocked all of it on the ground. And this is the painting now. And I was really worried that the glass would break, but no, the frame broke into four pieces. How ridiculous is that? The frame broke, never in my life. We're gonna see how this other one holds up. If the other one stays, we know it's more than capable of like being framed. Um, but if that doesn't work, then the next game plan, I mean, I'm just gonna have to buy more frames, which these frames already cost money and then see what happens from there. Alrighty, so I'm back in the studio. Essentially, we have these two beautiful, gorgeous chairs that look like this, but they can't fit in here at the same time because there's not enough space. Now, the most correct, there goes the other one. Our thing is that there's this like um, thingy right there. I'm thinking if we switch it, it'll allow just a little bit more room 
You feel me? So that these desks can at least sit underneath the desk when it's not in use, you know? For aesthetic purposes, at the very least. So we are now set up for spray painting. Now I wiped this bar cart as well as I could. Still got a little stain stain, but we are going to be spray painting this bar cart that I got for free from a friend. This orange color. And we have all of the frames that are gonna be spray painted this. So I will be back with the finished result. to wrap things up and I'm gonna show y'all the tour today so now is the day we're gonna do a bunch of different fine-tuning stuff so let's just make it quick and honestly let's get into it because I'm ready I'm ready to be done with this also yes to mark the end I did wear an outfit that matches the room <laughs> you're welcome <laughs>
last October when we were just hanging out You called me staring at your back, made some excuses, then I left Yeah, yeah!